Good morning, welcome back to Whitefoot Guitars. Kieran here again, uh, back after a little bit of a break. Uh, had a bit of a problem with a uh, router colic giving up on me. So I had to wait until I could get another one of those. And uh, unfortunately that also deformed one of my router bits. So I had to replace that as well. But we've got them back and we're good to go with more of the neck. Um, had a quick trip to make a central yesterday. Uh, got to see a few people, uh, bumped into Ben Crow, uh, got to say hello, um, and had a mooch around and got myself some swag. Um, so first off, big thank you to Triton, because uh, they were doing a giveaway and I won a sander, which is cool because I'll actually use this. So that is very, very awesome. And all I had to do was catch a ping pong ball. So yeah, awesome. Uh, again, big thank you to uh, Deadpool um, who hit the ping pong ball my way. So <laughs> yeah, that'll get some use. And uh, yeah, you'll see that later on in the series um, and while I was at the Crimson Stand uh, I picked myself up one of their guitar body rejects from their CNC uh, it's a Sapelian maple or sycamore I think actually I think that's sycamore uh, but there's some absolutely lovely ripple and flame in that so uh, when we get past this build-off craziness, uh, we'll have a look at this and see what we can make out of that. Okay, today I'm going to be carrying on with the neck. i uh, going to get that down to profile size and get it finely shaped. And then I'm going to try and get the neck pocket rated uh, so we can get those fitted. And make sure that's all nice hunky-dory. And then from there, we can start measuring out for hardware, pickups, bridge, etc. Uh, get all that lined up. Uh, so that'll be for later in the week or next weekend. So we'll fire the router table up and we'll crack on. Um, before I do though, massive thank you to everybody who's been watching in these videos. Uh, I've got some subscribers. Uh, but YouTube told me over the weekends uh, that I've got over 1,200 watch hours, which is mind-blowing for me. So thank you very much for the support. It is much appreciated. Uh, so, yeah, keep them coming. Um, seriously, any comments, questions, queries, criticisms, whatever, just put them in the comments. Um, I will get back to people as and when I can, uh, but it is really good to know that uh you know people are seeing this and you know getting involved and getting behind me so thank you very much uh, you're all awesome so right i'm gonna fire the router table up and make some dust so i'll see you in a sec well that was a day uh progress has been made though as you can see we almost have a guitar. So the neck is finished uh, shaping, profile, etc. The neck pocket is rated and fits extremely well. Um, and just for my reference, I've got the end of the fretboard and the nominal bridge position for scale length marked. Uh, I'll bring it in close and show you in a sec. Um, but yeah, it's been a day on the router. Uh, while I was at it, I got the uh, the back edges rounded over as well, just so it's a bit nicer and easier to handle. Uh, but that always feels like you're getting somewhere when you do that anyway. So yeah, had a 
had a few issues, uh, a little bit of chip out with the router around the heel, uh, which I should be able to hide when I do the neck carve. Uh, if not, then I'll be going back and starting the neck again, but we should be okay. Um, and the neck profile template snapped when I pulled it off from the neck blank. Uh, some of the super glue had spooged out from between the masking tape and actually caught onto the MDF and I didn't notice. And in a tug of war between super glue, maple and MDF, this stuff is always going to come off last unfortunately. Um, but I've still got the main neck profile so no great loss. You can always improvise something from there. So I've got sawdust and wood shavings absolutely everywhere. So I've got some cleaning up to do before I can go in and have something to eat. Uh, I've decided to not show uh, working with the machines as that seems to be when people pause, stop or, or leave the videos. So I'm, uh, I'll just put up some pictures uh, as I was going through the stages instead, uh, just as a more of a quick brief snapshot really. Um, yeah, because I don't want to be boring people, as opposed to me just stood here with a brew waffling away. <laughs> there you go. Uh, but if you know, if using the machines is something you want to see, stick it in a comment, and you know I'll show a bit more as I'm going, but. You know, for now, I'm just going to flash up images instead and uh, be a bit quicker. So, uh, yeah, hang tight and I'll, I'll bring you in for a close up. Okay, so here she is. Not bad for a day with lots of noise and dust. So here's the nominal bridge position for a 25 inch or 635 millimeter scale length. So we'll uh, use that as a reference point for when I'm drilling the string through holes and that will be the end of the fretboard. That is so I've got a reference for when I'm uh, rating for the neck pickup. Uh, I'm not going to use serranes on this. I'm going to have them uh, direct mounted pickups. So obviously I want to keep it as you know snug and tight to the end of the fretboard as I can. So that's just to help me line things up when I use the template. Um, and and you see because typical PRS body joint around the 21st fret and um, with a, a deeper neck tenon just to hold everything in and but yeah we are getting there and this is one of the tightest neck joints I've managed so far might actually be slightly too tight for when I add glue so I'm gonna have to tidy that up somewhat but yeah so we've got the neck profiled with a volute or guitar tit as the Spanish call it so we'll get this carved um, I use the faceting system that Crimson teach to carve the actual neck profile so we'll get to that next weekend and that's where I had the bit of chip out from the router Annoying, but it does happen. Just caught the grain slightly 
the wrong way and actually popped. However, with the carving that I'll do, uh, that should disappear. So we'll see when we get to it. Uh, well, got the center line marked for reference for when I start marking out the other facets. So, yeah, quite pleased. Quite, quite pleased. There's the neck pocket. Nice and clean. That's what a Triton router with a radium bit does for you. Really good. And got the round over put in just for a bit of comfort and it makes it feel nicer when I'm handling the body but we'll be putting in comfort calves here here control cavity going there obviously um, oopsie sorry but with regards to the neck joints I may well shape that in I'll see what it's like when it's actually in place just to uh, make it feel more homogenous and nice. So there we go. That's what we've managed to do today. So I'll now be clearing all of this up because I can't leave it until next week. So yeah. We are getting there. So, thanks for sticking with me. And we'll see you on the next one. So, take care. Enjoy your bank holiday. What's left of it. And I'll see you soon. Cheers.